Hi, my name's Nate, and you are watching Intro Outro. I'm gonna try and give you the whole story of the Bible in about five minutes. In Genesis 1, it began with a plan. As God spoke, let there be light. When he looked at what stood, he said, it is good. You might even say love at first sight. As the Creator surveyed all that his hands had made, the land and the skies and the seas, which he'd filled up with life and a man and his wife to pass down his loving decrees. Now creation would preach as it poured forth its speech of a God who is loving and good. But humanity was best to declare to the rest God's image as only they could. But though made for reflection, they chose a rejection, a betrayal of their love and creator. And by believing lies of the Lord of the flies, they became not God lovers, but haters. And their hearts became dark as God withdrew the spark that would keep them in life everlasting. But in judgment was grace, as he promised their race that they would find themselves feasting, not fasting. For the offspring of Eve would save all who believe as the head of the serpent was crushed. And God would keep giving, and man would keep living despite now returning to dust. You see, God is too strong to let all that is wrong stop his love being poured out on men. And through Abraham's seed, it was safely decreed, I will build on this land once again. But Abraham's wife could bring forth no life. So how could this promise be kept? By God's faithful love shining down from above on their efforts so poor and inept. And Sarah would giggle as her baby did wriggle, and through Isaac, God's promise did flow. And he begat twins, and the younger begins the nation of Israel that we know. Because Jacob's 12 lads became Israel's 12 dads when they found themselves living as slaves. And God kept his oath as the nation had growth, and they passed through the sea and the waves. But what was the reason that God in this season chose them as his people to be? Or well, Deuteronomy 7 points us to heaven as God says, it's not you, it's me. His sovereign election overruled their rejection as he made them his treasured possession. The Bible history shows their spiritual woes and reveals an adulterous obsession. God rebukes their two sins, their forsaking of him and their trusting insistence so broken. You see, they'd worshipped false gods and they'd lived at great odds with the one who their being had spoken. But though their incense they'd burned to, the gods that they'd turned to, God's heart was still yearning within him. His compassion aroused. The Creator now vows, my people will not sink but swim. Hark, he appears. Hear the angels three cheers as they sing Merry Christmas on earth. Because the offspring of Eve, Abraham's seed enters humbly by virtue of birth. God with us, they say. The playwright is in the play, and he's come now to show us who's boss. But the creator creature seems an odd sort of creature, for he's determined to die on the cross. God's Christmas surprise saves souls as he dies, as that noon sky is darkened so dim. And his righteousness offered in the place of the scoffers and their sins given over to him. So true love now lies dead. The cross turned to red. The setting of this morning sun. Having come from the womb, does it end in the tomb? Is the relationship finally done? The angel says, have no fear. For a new dawn is here. Jesus Christ is raised up like the crop because death has been beaten. Its sting has been sweetened, so forever he'll reign at the top. But though Jesus did roam to his heavenly home, to those who would keep with intimacy deep, his spirit poured out as a gift. So we come to the glory of this eternal love story as the Bible now draws to its close. And the revelation we're shown is a lamp on a throne that gives light to the world as it glows. Hail the Lamb who was slain, for he went through the pain to take to him a new wedded wife. And his bride will be blessed and be beautifully dressed for the husband who died for her life. So the Ancient of Days now invites us to praise his son with the host from above. 
No more tears for the eyes of those attending replies, caught up in his story.